please welcome John Cannell. Hi. Thank you for having me. Okay. I love your story. You became a teacher. You were a good teacher. Thank you. But something inside of you felt another path that you would foster by cooking in your off hours and feeding your passion. But what made it take over into pole position? I mean, there's two things happening here. My mom is from Mexico, and she instilled a love of education in me as part of why I became a teacher. But she also had a love of cooking and exploring flavors and just trying things out and being adventurous. And I got to grow up with her in the kitchen. So even though I was a math and science teacher and I loved it, I still had a passion for cooking that I nurtured and it really kept me going. When my husband, Brian and I decided we want to have a family. And you I, guys live on a farm. We live on a farm now. And like, we're both from LA. Now we live on this farm in Connecticut. And so we wanted to have kids and I knew I wanted to be home more with them. So I took my love of teaching and my love of food and I created Preppy Kitchen where I get to be home with the kids, but I can also teach people how to make delicious food and have fun in the kitchen. I really have to... Um, and your husband, Brian, is in the audience. Yes, yes she is. <laughs> um, what's it like to live with someone who can really cook? Well, I'm in incredibly well-fed, as you may imagine. Uh, I like to consider myself the chief tasting officer of Preppy Kitchen, so it's fun. I love that you call yourself the chief tasting officer. Yeah, I can't cook anything, so I would starve to death without John. Um, okay, so your upcoming book that I've been searching high and low for is coming out in October, and it is my pick for Cookbook Club. What can we expect? Well, we're all from L.A., right? Yes. And when we moved to Connecticut, I was like, I love this. This is amazing. Like the summer was just magical with like the plants breathing and you yeah. can just feel it. You appreciate yeah. it. So it, it, the seasons just affect every part of your life. And that's a big part of your cookbook. And we arranged all the recipes by the seasons because I have different needs in the winter. I want to have cozy, just hearty, delicious food like this. And different stuff available. Yeah.